kind of a bash at uh, reassembling the brake shoes and that here. I've got the parts clean now. This is the brake parts cleaned up, apart from the shoe on the extreme right there. That's that's what it looked like before I cleaned them. I made this steady post in first. Ah, I re-threaded the, the whole through 5 but I'm going to have to go and cut this again. Uh, I've run a 5 16 tap through it. I think it would have been 5 16 but maybe a finer pitch or something. 5 16 bolt we've got in. I don't know how many teeth to inch. I thought that was going to be what was. Right, that's steady post, that's a steady post. Come to the book. Now, I need to do some assembly here. I wrap around that just to keep it in place. And I'll just cut it off after. It's a best. Oh. <clears throat> you think tie wraps were invented when this tractor was built? Easy enough to cut it out later on if we need to. I'm going to jump a bit more like this. Right. So this is where I adjust the left hand and right hand thread. Yeah, and these are the, these hold it to the back there through that hole. I've never been a fan of brake shoes. Never been a fan of putting them in shoes, I should say. Go like that. Try and get it to come through. And if we could put the shoe first. finger on it in the back. <laughs> He's going to get my torch, I can't see much behind here.
Whether we have a bar where I want it to go. Right. Oh, oh, yeah. Right. That's not in. Lovely jubbly. I've always had difficulty getting brake shoes put together. Give me death breaks any day. The spring will It's me doing in here with Right, how about coming to plan? I'm going to start and just keep, keep a hold for the time being. bolt through beside them to keep them from coming out.
that's right, that's an M12 bolt, seems to do the job. Hey, this bit's got to go on. Let's go back there. Let's go back there. And that's got to go there. And then we need the adjuster to line up with that hole. So, I won't really use the ones going in here, I think. Two springs go to here. You would think that would go to here. I'm actually wondering if that one's for there. No, I'd be too short. I tell you, I don't like doing brake shoes. <laughs> hmm. Well, let's try this one. I can get that spring in. Um, should go to that one and get the adjuster back in. It has to go there. Do now is get the adjuster in. Well, this has got a set in here. Oh, these are to spring out again. i get it out. Let's get this spring out of the way. That was unusually easy. Screwdriver through that hole when it's assembled and tighten up your brakes without taking others to bits. Nearly, he popped out at the last second here. Yeah. Not so and so. Of 
14 goes later, I might have got this one. I've got an idea. I'll stop it going down the way. I may use foul language shortly. Like, oh dear, how sad, never mind. Turning at the last minute and uh, not want to go back in. Yeah. Gotcha. Right, that's that. Spring here and all, it's not sitting right here. In the made up two of these plugs, it's just a bit of M16 rod that's ground away so it goes past the spring and then I've got a split pin hole here that will be on the inside because these wee springs are a pain in the proverbial these things are quite difficult to get them to bite but they won't but that'll sit in there and that'll keep it in place I hope you got to get to stay in place to start with, that's the fun bit. It does on you, it does on me. Right. These are the original ones, I just cleaned them up. Mm -hmm. 
That one in okay, this one's been right soon, so let's get there again. Once we try and put it into the black first, maybe. I just dropped a split pin in, I didn't, uh, didn't fold it open, it's only a holder. So I thought, well, we'll just to get back in here in the future. Originally I thought about nuts, but it was not going to work very well. This hole seems to be in the wrong place. It's the same as that one. I think I know what's wrong. It should be in that hole and then into here. Put them back to front. I think that's why it's in the sit in the right place. sits in there and it all ends up there would you believe help if you put the springs in the right way around. Still going to put my wee plug in I won't. That's what's wrong with that one as well. Take it out. So. Mm -hmm. oh, 
Nearly push. Just go and redraw this hole. Uh, anyway, I've uh, <coughs> drilled the hole a bit bigger, but I need to get them through there. Mm -hmm. Spring out, do the right way round. They come out easy enough. Oh, that one was in the right place. First, you don't succeed, give up. So when you, you look at it, it's centering up there, and it's centering up there, so I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like that. Because otherwise the thing's in the wrong place. So, there's an adjuster here. Get the drum. Cleaned up. Oh, can I do? I'll see if the drum goes on, and if it doesn't, I'll see if I can chuck it in the lathe and just give it a wee skim. Oh. We'll give it a clean. Put some wonder what. Some wipes here. Got a little bit of a lip. Right, that's it on its minimum. So, see how it goes. The good thing about these is you can adjust it through the holes. You don't have to take it off again. Just to show you. So that's your brass adjuster there, so you can get a screwdriver in there and adjust it up. Right Give it a bit of a clean as well. And everything was clotted and oil leaking through, so that's why we want to get the new seals in. Yeah. <laughs> 
Pudite. The handbrake gables come off. Would you believe it? Let's see if we've actually got a brake pedal. Uh, I'll need to jump up the tractor and try it. Let's see if it moves or not. Now it needs a bit more adjustment. We don't actually need that extender if I looked at the other side first and the pedal's actually right down. Get out. Oh well, it's good for making it. It's been quite a while making that little thing. Yesterday, but finally, anyway, we practice. Right, just gonna pop a split pin through there just in case. Let's see how we're doing for. Mm -hmm. Holding the, uh, the return springs missing from. Oh, I can get the return spring on. Springs missing. The rest of it's pretty mundane stuff, just put the cover on and work our back on, things like that, so I'm not filming that. Uh, we'll get the tractor outside, get this place cleaned up and then back in and start on the far side. So that's all for now.